Let's talk about the build manufacturing inside SAP Business One. Uh, build manufacturing is what we call it because it includes labor and materials that are necessary to produce the item. In this case, a Lexmark 4029 printer. Let's move left to right across the bill and discuss what we're looking at. You can see we start off with our sequence number. We're going to do an assembly of these components. We also have colorful icons to let us know what each component consists of. This is a direct labor. This is a raw material. We've got a sub-assembly here for the power supply. We've also got a subcontracted assembly. We've got a phantom item that we put together, a special component kit for this item. We send it outside for painting. We do testing. First we do setup, then we perform the test, and then rework if necessary. We finish this job by shipping and include a packing nut for shipping. You can see the quantity on our material items. You can see setup time and run time for our labor items and, if necessary, also our wait time. We have a picture of what it is that we're manufacturing. You can have additional attachments uh, that go along say, with our work instructions. Assemble it per drawing. Here's a drawing of what we may be manufacturing. You can make this all visible on the shop floor. Even a uh, video clip if your employees want a refresher on how to go through a certain procedure in the process. We also track scrap as a quantity and or as a percentage. Along with that we can also track any engineering changes that have been made to the bill. We can see our indented bill report. This will show us on any subcomponents and all components that go into this bill of manufacturing. So you can see we've got the power supply broken down here as well as a subcontracted assembly and then our phantom item. We've also got the cost broken down for what goes into the components or manufacturing of this item. You can see the parent item and then uh, any components that go into it. We've got our material cost, our burden cost, our labor cost, and then the total unit cost here. You can make all of this visible on the shop floor to help enhance the productivity of manufacturing in your company.